Hi guys, just going through some of my old videos and spotted a comment from Hermit Old Guy about the circuit board inside these servos because I was using them to drive small motors. This is one of them. And he wants to know what the chips were that were on them. So if I can turn this one on. Oh, there we go. I will actually do a close-up of the chips so we can see the numbers on them and put some links in the video description. The chip on this side is actually a KC9102, which is a digital servo motor controller. That's that chip just there. And on the other side, that one is a 117L, which is the H bridge for driving the motor. In the data sheet for the 9102, it does actually show you the 9102 in conjunction with the, in fact, I think on the sheet I was looking at, it shows a 118, but this one is actually definitely a 117 on this side. So I'll put that information in the uh, video description so that I can answer his question. That's all it is. All this video is, is just to talk about the chips that are on there. For those of you who don't know how a servo, servo works, these are the leads that plug into your receiver. In this case, the brown one is the negative or ground. The red one is the live. And the yellow one is the data feed that tells the controller chip how far to move the motor. And then that green thing on there is a potentiometer that feeds back the amount of rotation back into the chip so the chip knows how far it's actually moved the servo around. So it knows when to stop. It sounds to me like this one has got slipping gears. It's not a good idea to force it anyway. Yeah, there you go. Short and sharp. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.